We just got new major orders and it's to eliminate the bots off the face of the galaxy. And it's potentially exciting because if we get rid of them, they could be gone forever, which is awesome. And with this excitement, we see not a lot of people are fighting the bots. When we had major orders for the bugs, we saw 80 to 90% participation. Everyone was fighting the bugs. Everyone was doing the, the major orders. Everyone wanted to do it and get a piece of the action. And with the bots, we're seeing maybe 50% at, at peak, like in the best case scenario, only 50% of people are fighting the bots. Now, usually I would ask why, but we already know why. I made a video on that. I'll put a link somewhere around here. If you want to know why, click that. It's awesome. So today we're going to answer what can we do to make the bots more fun to fight? How can we get those numbers up to 80%, 90%? Because the fact that half of the community, demonstrably half of the community will not engage the bots no matter what, that's a problem. We need to be able to get those people over there. If half the people find part of your game unfun, we need to fix that. So in today's video, I wanna go over how do we fix the bots and make them more fun to play against. Now I am going to note on this that uh, I'm gonna give a bunch of ideas. I don't necessarily think that all of them need to be implemented because that could cause problems if you have too many changes, but I think these changes at their core will make the bots more fun to fight leave their identity intact because we don't want it to feel the same as finding the bugs and still make them unique, flavorful, and maybe even more of a challenge in different ways. So let's look at it. What can we do to improve the bots? So the first change that I would make, uh, while I'm usually against nerfing like what happened with the guns, we want to buff things up, we don't want to nerf things, I do think one overall nerf to the bots could make them more enjoyable to fight against. And I think that's their overall accuracy I think we need to drop that down by about 20% or do what other video games do where the first couple shots are guaranteed miss to let you like, oh, they're looking at me, they see me, they're shooting at me and give you time to appropriately react. The fact that you can just get randomly headshot sniped from across the map and randomly die is no fun to people and they want to change that. So I don't think it needs to be a huge nerf, but 10 or 20% or a little bit of like cartoon Wiley Coyote physics where everything misses the first time so you get a little bit more chance to react. I think that would make a big difference overall. The other thing when we talked about like why people don't play this, it's the one hit KOs. The fact that no matter where you are, you're always in danger of just getting absolutely one shot. That's not fun, especially like when you land and you have no control over where you're landing and you land next to a guy and he just one shots you and then you're landing again. And that happens multiple times, it's just, not fun. So what we need to do to reduce that, I think, is we need to give more utility and options to the bots. For example, the rocket devastators are absolutely notorious for one shotting you, right? Because they shoot the rockets at you, they explode, and either you get one shot or you get blown across the map and before you can recover, you get shot while you're on the ground. I think if we gave them different kinds of rockets, we could see a change that. Again, it would be a challenge in a different way. If they shot rockets that made poisonous gas that gave you time to react, but like denied entire areas. If they shot uh, electrical rockets, like the EMS mortars that we have that take away your entire stamina so you can't run, uh, that would be interesting to play around. If there were flaming rockets that gave a burning effect that you had to heal against or could run through, things like that. Instead of just a one hit, you're dead, boom, gone, whatever giving you time to react or different counterplay, I think would be a really interesting way to not nerf them, but to give them a different kind of utility that gives them still the feeling of they're firing at you. It's deadly to get hit by these things, but there's more counterplay, there's more reaction, there's more you can do instead of, I got hit, I'm dead, that's the end of the world. I also think adding like a laser to the front of the rocket would be a great way to give some people some more options. Like those guys who will sit there and they'll aim at you and then they'll fire a rocket and it's just, you know, coin toss, it completely misses, goes off in a direction, does nothing, or it hits you in the head and you're instant dead by a low level entry minion, right? That's not fun. But I think if they had like a laser either from the rocket themselves or from the unit, that was like a tracing laser that showed you they're looking here, this is where they're shooting at, this is where it's gonna land. Yes, the rockets move fast, but it would give you the opportunity for counterplay. There's a chance that you could dodge it. There's a chance that you could dive behind some trees instead of, I don't know where it's going, I'm gonna run and leave it up to chance. I think that's, again, a small change that doesn't nerf them, but it gives you more counterplay options. I think we also need to look at potentially changing the way some of the side objectives work. 
Again, I don't think all of these changes at once would be a good thing. I definitely think it would be way too much to implement every single change, but a few of these across the map could really make a big difference for playing against bots. And I think the big one is the Stratagem Jammer. The devs have said they don't want us to rely on our primaries, that the main thing we need to rely on is our stratagems. And when you jam those and you have no access to them, people just don't like that. It just feels unfun. So you've said, okay, these guns suck and they suck on purpose because you're supposed to use the stratagems. Well, now you're not allowed to use the stratagems either. Well, that, that doesn't feel great either, right? Like you told us to use this and now you're not allowing me to use this. That, that that's a problem. So I think we could actually solve two birds, one stone here. Instead of removing the stratagem jammer entirely, I think they should bring back the uh, effect that they took out of the game, the one where you would call in a stratagem, but it had a chance to be the wrong stratagem. I think that uh, scrambler instead of a jammer would leave the desired effect of, okay, having this on the map is a problem you need to deal with, just like a stalker's lair is a problem you need to deal with. It would give you that feeling, but without the sense of complete hopelessness, there's nothing I can do. It's just, okay, I need to be more careful and we need to take this out ASAP still because we might call in the wrong thing and cause problems. I think that brings that unique aspect back into the game. And I think it changes, again, we're not nerfing, we're just changing to make there be more counterplay, more options available to us as players to make the bots a little bit more fun for those 50% who refuse to play it. Now, of course, there are some ideas for making the bots more playable through incentives. And this is one of those things that might work a little bit and it might be really easy to implement. So I'm gonna include these, even though I don't like the ideas as much, I don't see why we don't expand the title list, right? We get titles for doing our level ups all the way up to Skull Admiral, and then that's it. So why not have special titles for people who've gone to Malevolent Creek, special titles for killing 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 bots, things like that, that give you a unique appearance or a unique little calling card or something that incentivizes going to the bots. Now, I wouldn't mind also including that for the bugs because there are just some people who need incentives. There's a lot of people who have hit max level and are saying, well, why do I keep playing the game? I already have max everything. Well, because it's fun, but that's not enough for some people. It's not about fun. It's about, I need rewards. I need incentives. I need something more to do. Why not give us ultimately meaningless titles, but something to collect, something to go after? I think having a goal to kill 50,000 bots on the creek would incentivize some people to go there. Or how about for major orders or for liberating planets, badges, collectibles, things like that that just incentivize the community to go out there more. There've been a lot of really cool artists on Etsy who've been making like uh, making patches like you would for a military patch. Why not give us patch collectibles? Why not have a patch for liberating each planet, for participating in war campaigns, for participating in major orders? They're small, they don't impact gameplay, but for a lot of people, that's the incentive they need to go do something that they don't like. And I would like to see that population move closer to 70 or 80% of people at the bots when there's a major order for the bots, especially this one. This is a major storytelling, changing the entire war effect and people just aren't participating. And that goes against the spirit of the game. So give them a freebie little incentive to, to be a part of that. Give them some reason to come here. Heck, you can even do card game, collectible card games and, and give foils or rarities, things again that don't impact the gameplay but give people a reason to go and do these bots. We need more people with the bots. I wanna win this major order and we need these changes to bring over those 20 or 30% of people who just do not want to fight the bots no matter what. Now I do wanna be clear, I'm by no means saying that the bots are impossible. All the gameplay you've seen behind me while I'm talking here is all doing level nine and completing level nine missions. So it's definitely doable. So there is an argument to say that they're not in balance. It's just people don't find them fun but ultimately games are supposed to be fun, right? So if it's not fun, we should make changes to make it fun. And that's why I've suggested some things that don't alter gameplay, such as the titles, the cards, the patches, collectibles, whatever it is to incentivize without altering the uniqueness that is the bots. I don't want them to make the bots all melee and take away the shooting aspect. I don't want them to have the exact same thing as the bugs. I don't want there to be a stalker version of the bots. I don't want their missions to be the exact same 
but I do want them to be fun. And I do find myself, I was looking at my stats, I play both, as you can tell, I, I play both, here's me playing the bots. I do tend to favor the bugs because I have a lot more fun on the bug plants because I can have a little bit more leeway about what I bring, how I approach the mission, how I do the mission, what armor I wear, because I have these options available to me where when I'm the bots, there's no playing around. I have to have the S tier loadout. I have to know exactly what I'm doing and I have to get in, do the mission and get out. I can't even do secondary objectives because half the time I'm losing people so fast that we're not gonna complete the mission otherwise. So I don't want them to remove the difficulty, but I do want people to be able to experience it and have fun with it. I think a few of these changes, again, not all the changes, but just including a few of them, especially if we just gave them more utility, lightning rockets, gas rockets, things that take down the one hit KO, but deny access to field or deny you to be able to do things. I think those would be great. One last thing I would say is I think they need to remove the uh, stratagem blocker that makes it so your stratagem, you only get three instead of four. People absolutely hate that one. It doesn't really change the gameplay all that much. It just slows it down. I think we need to come up with a new thing to put in place instead of that. Uh, I don't have an actual suggestion for that. So if you have a suggestion for that, if you think there's another stratagem blocker or nerf of some sort, definitely leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. But I think we need to get rid of that one because a lot of people refuse to play on plants when that one's in effect. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you watching my videos as always. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I have to put it in here because that's how you play the YouTube game. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.